Hello everyone and welcome to another very instructive chess game of Paul Morphy in the Paul Morphy's chess game series. And in this game Paul Morphy has the black pieces and his opponent is John William Schulten once again. And this game was played in New York in 1857. And John William Schulten starts the game with playing e4, e5, f4, king's gambit, accepted. Bishop to c4, knight to f6, knight to c3, bishop to b4, e5, attacking the knight, d5, attacking the bishop. e takes on f6, and Paul Morphy captures the bishop. d takes on c4, and shoot template. f takes on g7, attacking the rook. So Paul Morphy simply played rook to g8. Queen to e2, that's check. Bishop to e6, a3, asking the bishop a question. Bishop to c5, knight to f3, knight to c6, knight to e4, attacking the bishop on c5. And Paul Morphy played knight to d4, a very annoying knight, attacking the queen, and also attacking on c2. So John William Schulten wants to get rid of this annoying knight. Knight takes on d4, bishop takes on d4, c3, attacking the bishop. But Paul Morphy didn't move his bishop, and he played. Queen to h4, check. King to f1. After queen to h4, if g3, of course f takes on g3, and if pawn takes bishop, then g2. That's a discover attack with the queen. Knight to f2, g takes on h1 with promoting a queen. And white needs to resign. So maybe after f takes on g3, white needs to capture the pawn with the knight. Then bishop takes on g7 and black is better. So after queen to h4, shoot template, king to f1. Bishop to b6, saving the bishop. d4. And Paul Morphy captures the pawn with en passant. C takes on d3. Queen takes on d3. And it's black to move. And Paul Morphy played a very strong move. Well, he played rook to d8, attacking the queen. And after rook to d8, we can easily see that Schulten is having some difficulties because of the undeveloped bishop. And because of the pawn on f4, this annoying pawn. And also because of the unsafe king's position. And only this knight on e4 is defending the checkmate threat, queen to f2. So it looks like John William Schulten is in big trouble. So rook to d8, attacking the queen and also threatening to play rook to d1. Schulten played queen to e2, saving the queen and also defending on d1. It's black to move, and Paul Morphy played a killer move. Can you guess the next move of Paul Morphy? What would you do in this position if you had the black pieces? Paul Morphy played rook to d1, and after this move, John William Schulten resigned at move 17. Well, this is losing for white, but let me show you the possible continuation. Of course, the obvious move. If queen takes rook, then here comes bishop to c4, and how to defend? There is only two defense in this position. Queen to d3, then bishop takes queen and that's checkmate. So queen to e2 is the most logical defense. Then bishop takes queen, king takes bishop. But then queen to h5, check. King to e1, and then queen to e5, winning the knight. King to d1, queen takes knight. This is over for white. If rook to e1, then bishop to e3, bishop takes, bishop f takes on e3, 
King to C1, Rook takes on G7, and White needs to resign. And if King to D3, then Queen to D5, winning the knight. King to C2, Queen takes knight, check. If King to D2, Queen to D5 again. King to C2, Queen takes knight. And if King to F1, then Queen to D1. That's checkmate on the spot. What an incredible game by Paul Murphy. He sees everything. So after this move, after Paul Murphy played rook to d1, Schulten resigned once again against Paul Murphy. And I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. And I hope to see you next time. Take care.